morning. How are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? Today it's time to do some work. I'm gonna do some work in the house. I'm gonna show you what today's project is, but you can come along with me in my continued home improvements of like five years in this house. <laughs> little by little, we're getting this place to where I want it. AKA we want it, but I say I because Gord doesn't care enough and I'm the one who's like, oh my God, let's make it this color. Let's do this. Let's add this, you know aesthetic vibes but today we're gonna be painting some doors don't mind the boxes but this is what our hallway looks like right now with these ugly brown um doors and there's color hi Clark. hey baby boy hello so we have bathroom door one gourd room two mom's room three closet four my room or our master bedroom five and then number six is over here the closet our coat closet so I'm gonna be painting all of these doors white which is gonna be a bit of a procedure that's gonna take me quite some time probably not gonna be able to do this in one day but you're gonna come along the journey of this week I am off work and that is what we are doing that is the mission that is the project let's go Wrong tool, too big. Let's try again. Why are you guys so- I need a man! Which here? But I can't even take it out. So, you're not painting this though, are you? I don't think so. No. So you should be take you should leave the hinge on the wall and just unscrew the door. From unscrew this one? these and then that just leave this on. Oh, from the wall. Yeah. Oh. So you wanna try that? Put the screws back in and then try these ones? It's like shaving the screw off of it. I mean don't worry about that because you you should just take those off. So I'll put these back on? Yes, please. So what had happened was, uh... I had taken one and two out. Couldn't take the middle one out, but then Gord said, um, hello, you need to take these out, not these. So we're gonna work on these. These are probably gonna be easier because they're not painted over like these ones. So let's get these out and we'll get the door off. Door number one, check. <laughs> How is this so tall? Oh, I have to, okay. Hold on a minute. I forgot there was stuff on the back of that. Probably not be carrying it by the doorknob, but let's go. screws were and plus on top of that they were clashing with the thing so I couldn't twist it out with my fingers at the end I had to unscrew the whole damn thing what Ugh. finally got the doorknob and hardware off now let's paint this house Oh, 
It's dry to the touch if it might stick if you flip it over too early and then all peel off. It, um, I think, what does the can say? <clears throat> well, I was thinking finishing one side first. Yeah. Like doing the multiple three layers on one three. side. Yeah, it's one, two, three. Okay. But thank you for your good intentions. You're welcome. Do you approve? Yeah, I think it looks good. Remind me how to do this. Like this, right? You get the paint off like this. Like this. But there's spaces, so I gotta duct tape more, right? You're doing it backwards. Hours later, totally forgot to film it. Rodriguez. Love is blind make me the in the background. In the world. Spend the rest of my life with Let's me. do the sides now. to realize we need the door for the bathroom and it's the first one I took off and nobody has privacy when they're going the wee in the poo. Let's take a door off to at least put something there. My accent is losing it. It's losing it. Let's take this door off from the closet to put it for the bathroom so people can go shit in peace. It's day two of this procedure and um, put the door back on. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> As you can see, it is very matte, very dead, very just pale and almost like it has a great undertone or something going on there. But I have realized I was sold the wrong paint. I asked for primer paint, which is a kind of paint that you don't need a top coat for, you just Put it on, slap it on, and you're good. But clearly, this is not the kind of finish we want. It's really not. It just, it just looks, it just doesn't look 
good. So I'm gonna have to go out and buy some paint or use some of the leftover paint that I used for the kitchen and my beauty room if you saw that video like some years ago because this is just not, mm -mm, it's not giving white door. It's giving ghostly. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but to be continued once we get the right paint. So it's day three and I've realized I've cleaned the little um, tray where the paint was, but not the paint rollers. They've been wrapped in saran wrap in the freezer and then Gord said he thought I was gonna keep going so he took them out yesterday. So I need to wash them like ASAP and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. A little learn alongside me, if you will. So the first thing I'm gonna want to make sure to do is scrape off the most amount of paint from the roller as possible. I'm gonna use, ideally you would be using like one of those scraping tools or plaster flattening thing, I don't know what they're called, but I don't have that. Or at least if I do, I don't know where it is. So I'm just using a spatula and I'm just gonna scrape as much paint as I can off of the roller before I start actually rinsing it and running my fingers through it and all of that. So once that is done, I'm going to give it a little bit of a squeeze, get some out with my fingers as much as I can and get a little bit deeper than that scraping tool could have gone. And once I'm done that, I'm actually just gonna place the roller down flat on its side and let the water go inside and create a fountain that's gonna be able to rinse the whole roller evenly. And I'm just gonna leave it there for a few minutes until the water's looking, you know, a little less solid and a bit more clear. We're also gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna flip it after fluffing it up a little bit once again and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna let it rinse for a few minutes on its other side in order for the water to come out clear. Once that's done, I'm actually going to put it back on its roller cage and spin it a few times so that the water comes out just so it doesn't dry with because there's basically no way to get like fully a hundred percent of the paint out so there is going to be a very very small there should only be a very very small not noticeable amount of paint still on the roller just because it has been soaked in it so part of it is just going to stay with it and that's okay as long as you do this step and you roll it a few times to make sure most of the water comes out and it doesn't dry wet if that makes sense. Giving it a little bit of a spin dry, if you will. And that's it, that's how you clean a paint roller. Um, the small roller that I did use was a sponge uh, material, so I did a similar method as you would with a beauty blender. You just squeeze it a few times until the water's coming clear um, under running you know, warm water. But I'm gonna leave this portion of the video right here just because I do need to get out to either find the other paint that I used for my kitchen and studio or purchase new paint in order to properly finish my door and then decide if I'm gonna continue with the rest of the doors. I set a really big goal of six doors um, and I'm gonna stop at one because I don't wanna keep doing this, like keep repeating the same mistakes if you will. So stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully we're in a better place and we can get the door to look a little bit better than it does right now. Okay, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because it's free and I will see you guys next time.